uh, we are back from recess. Uh, members and to the public, we're now, we're continuing to work off of the document labeled items proposed by House for Adoption by E-12 Conference Committee, May 13, 2019, 8.40 p.m. Senator Nelson. Oh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, and uh, members, the uh, Senate conferees have met and um, Bullet, so I'm going to, just to clarify, if you could number those bullet points, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, we'll all start using the same language, right. make sure we're always in the right spot. Um, how about if we label seven as well? One, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looking for tomorrow. Oh, wait, we'll only have six. We only have six. We only have six. Oh, I'm on, I pulled up Whoops. the 6.30. <laughs> Okay. I the, thought you were this being is why, this, Chair this is why we number and date and things like that. Yes, yes. Back to you, Senator so, Nelson. So here we go. So if I could make sure everyone has those nice little bullet points with a number in front of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay. So uh, on to uh, bullet point number one. Um, while we're highly supportive of both provisions that are uh, listed here in the offer, both uh, Senator Claussen's teacher prep uh, um, requirements and also the uh, screening for dyslexia. There's just great uh, concern in the Senate at this point uh, regarding an unfunded mandate. The Senate has worked so very hard not to have uh, any unfunded mandates, but also members want to, and uh, as we've been told, many districts are already doing this, mm -hmm. but of course members want to be able to speak to their districts as well, and I I think uh, Senator Weber uh, particularly may have had some uh, comments about this. Senator Weber. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Right. I, 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 Senator Nelson is correct. Certainly the goal of the testing and that we, we all, you know, mm -hmm. are in favor of. Um, but at the end of the day, and, and as Senator Weger can attest to when I served on his education committee, uh, you know, the unfunded mandates, and, and you heard my first comment here in the first meeting I was at, has always been a, a substantial issue with me. And I really feel that I, I want to visit with a couple of my local school districts uh, to ensure that, number one, they, they are familiar with what would be required to see if they are doing it. And, and then at the end of the day, too, before I would vote yes on this, I want to make sure of what this committee's understanding is of what that process is. I don't want us to think we have a one-page testing document and then wind up with a half a dozen pages that the department or someone else decides needs to be greatly expanded in order to accomplish mm -hmm. this. And so, um, but uh, um, anyway, I, uh, that's my feeling about it. And if my school districts can give me the, the go ahead on that, I, uh, I can, uh, you know, we, I think we can make it work. Sen Senator Weber, thank you. you I'm, I'm guessing that your school districts might be more comfortable with it with a 3% increase on the formula the first year and a 2% increase the formula the second year and $127 million in special education funding. Mr. Chairman. What's, what's your guess, Senator Weber? We've already had that discussion and they know where I stand. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make it easier for your, your greater Minnesota thank school district, Senator. Mr. Chair. All right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, bullet point one, this setting set, aside. Set aside, yeah. All right. Uh, and then, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And then the next is a bullet point two, and um, that's on um, Article 3, R9. This has to do with uh, much of the uh, Pelsby language and the background checks. And we have an amendment uh, okay. to offer, Mr. Chair, and that is the A44. All right. Senator Nelson moves the A44 amendment. And to that amendment, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, this is just actually a little bit of that um, language uh, to allow the uh, Pelsby um, background check dollars uh, to go into uh, that special revenue fund. Okay. <coughs> Questions to the A44 amendment? Seeing none. All those in favor of the A44 amendments? Uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion prevails. And then, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, with uh, the amendment, then the Senate is uh, uh, ready to adopt House Sections 15 through 19 as amended. Very good. Any discussion to the Nelson motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion prevails. Thank you, Senator Nelson. And then, uh, Mr. Chair, we are on the uh, bullet point number three, and I believe there's some House um, discussion on that particular. Uh, well, actually, we have the amendment, which I'll be glad to uh, uh, offer tonight if you would like, Mr. Chair, but I also believe the House wanted to set this aside, so I'm not clear if the amendment would be in order tonight if that's part of the discussion or if you'd rather have me hold off and offer that at a later date. So thank you, Senator Nelson. Why don't we do two things? Why don't I ask Ms. Snyder to come forward uh, after we moved on this language, we learned that there were some, some concerns uh, that, that, ask, that, that make us want to set this aside until tomorrow. So I'd ask that we'll set the amendment aside um, and then um, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, but Ms. Snyder, if you can, can help us with this, please. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Caitlin Snyder with the Minnesota Department of Education. Based on the conversation this evening, I've reached out to the Director of Indian Education at the department, uh, Dr. Jane Harstead, with a number of the questions from the conferees. Um, so asking for an update on the Ethel Murray scholarships, asking for an update on the licensure information that was provided most recently, I believe, in January 2018 on the, the graduates of the Minnesota Indian Teacher Training Prep Program. I also asked Dr. Jane Harstead to reach out to the Tribal Nations Education Committee to make sure that we can get some information back from the tribes about what this would look like at the programs and whether or not this would be something that would be supported um, by the institutions and our tribal partners. So um, we've an ask out to the Tribal Nations Education Committee to get responses by tomorrow morning, and I would be happy to provide that information to the committee members at that time. Thank you, Ms. Snyder. And, and Senator, it just, it, once oh. these concerns were raised, it made sense for us, as, as we referenced earlier, we wanted to hear from those impacted in the American Indian community. Uh, thank you, Senator Mr. Nelson. Chair. Oh, I think this is a, a very good idea, and we look forward to getting a, a more, a fuller picture than either of us had, actually, in, in these bills. So I look forward to that tomorrow, and uh, am uh, certainly in supportive, support of setting that bullet point three aside. Okay. Thank so you we very get much. more information. And then, uh, Mr. Chair and members, uh, the next bullet point is number four. And uh, the uh, Senate uh, is uh, able to, um, uh, let me just check. I can't read my own notes here. <laughs> <laughs> did we say yes? Did we say yes? <laughs> yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Chair. Yes, All right, yes, Senator yes. Nelson. Uh, bullet point four. Uh, yes, uh, the Senate is uh, apps is able to adopt a Senate um, bullet point four, and uh, that has um, House Section eighteen. All right. To the Nelson motion. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion prevails. Thank you, Senator Nelson. And Mr. Chair. Senator Nelson. Uh, the final uh, provision uh, for uh, adoption tonight, we, uh, the Senate uh, is uh, ready to adopt bullet point number five. That's on the um, energy uh, benchmarking language. And um, so I'd like to move. Um, the adoption of a uh, bullet point number five. So uh, page R3, A6, Senate section five. Any discussion to the Nelson motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion prevails. Uh, Senator you, Nelson. Mr. Chair, and uh, the next bullet point number six, the last one on your sheet, has to do with lunch shaming. And uh, the Senate uh, has had a good uh, discussion on this. And the offer that we could uh, bring back would be to take the Senate language and include the uh, graduation uh, language and the uh, language regarding debt collection, both house provisions that um, we think could be uh, implemented and very helpful. And I know that uh, the, how the chair has some a further discussion on that. Yes, thank you, Senator Nelson. Uh, the, the House would uh, like to see more definition in this area. This is uh, the, the issue of lunch shaming, as it's called, has been one that's been around for a number of years. We keep thinking we've solved it, and it's gotten to be a bit of a whack-a-mole problem. Uh, and so we'd like to see some more definition and clarity on it so that school districts uh, know where they stand and can uh, move forward. So we're, we're uh, in need of, of greater specificity 
so that we can hopefully put this issue behind us and more importantly behind the students and families of the state. So uh, we'll uh, move to set that aside. Yes, thank you very much. So, Senator Nelson, tomorrow. Chair Dabney, uh, the uh, Senate uh, plans to uh, convene at two o'clock tomorrow. We have a few items uh, on the agenda. We'll hear from a couple additional provisions uh, that uh, were in the Senate bill, but were not in the House bill. Um, one of those will be on... Uh, that okay, uh, so um, Mr. Chair, uh, we will be hearing uh, about PTAC mm -hmm. and what has uh, been successful and uh, in other uh, states. And then we also uh, haven't had confirmation yet, but uh, we thought it'd be helpful if we can get uh, Mr. John Voss with uh, uh, 287 in to talk about um, what uh, can be done so that all teachers in our state are able to participate in that online portal of teacher lesson plans that have been aligned mm -hmm. to Minnesota mm -hmm. standards. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been very, um, they've, they've started doing that on a smaller scale. We'd like to see all of our teachers have access to that. Okay. And so, uh, but that's not confirmed uh, yet. And then of course we want to hear back uh, regarding uh, the uh, Indian uh, provisions, mm -hmm. uh, our teachers mm -hmm. uh, of color, particularly our American Indians, and uh, continue that discussion, and then uh, continue looking at um, other provisions, um, and of course, uh, waiting for our leaders to uh, come through with uh, with those budget targets. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes. Yes, but Our, we will continue to work. All right, and uh, oh, oh, well, we've got a whole host of questions across here. Representative Joachim. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just so that we can kind of know what to expect on the other provisions, is it going to be, again, um, provisions that don't cost money then uh, by, from the Senate? Or I know uh, that was the focus yes. today, that it would only be provisions that don't cost anything. Senator Nelson. So, uh, um, Chair Dabney and Chair Joachim, um, our goal is to, number one, um, advance those provisions that have some language in both bodies. Um, yes? Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, and I know what you're thinking there, uh, uh, Rep. Uh, Erdahl, um, and then also those that do not have dollars attached. And um, we, again, are, um, you know, wishing those uh, legislative leaders and the governor uh, great speed as we approach our constitutional deadline. I applaud the fact that they were hoping for those uh, budget targets um, joint budget targets by May 6th, but now we're here on May 13th and we have to move ahead as much as we can, but we cannot get into those finance areas until we know exactly uh, what finance we're dealing with, uh, how much that is, uh, and how it would be paid for. All right. Uh, Representative Pinto. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, uh, folks may remember that we had a discussion, maybe on Saturday, I guess, about a provision relating to the Special Revenue Fund for scholarships. And this question of, um, uh, it was the directive from the Finance Chair in the Senate to, uh, to have the provision worded a certain way because of budget rules. We had checked with staff, with our fiscal staff, it seemed like there may have been a disagreement between the different fiscal staffs, and we've now gotten some more information. And, and so I, what I may, would maybe ask for both sides if we could do is to, to check again with staff, because I have the impression there may actually be a joint, some joint um, suggestion to us about how exactly to word that, to have it be com in compliance with budget rules, et cetera. I may be wrong about that, but if we could check, that may be something that we can dispose of uh, upon advice from our respective staffs. Senator Nelson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair and Chair Pinto, uh, I think that's a good idea to try and get some greater clarification on that. And I also wanted to just, I know it's clear, but wanted to make sure my language was clear on that, that um, the two uh, testifiers that we will have, one or two, mm -hmm. um, we know those are not provisions in the House, but we want to make sure House members have access to uh, to what the Senate, why the Senate has had those provisions included. But then if we get to additional um, uh, proposals or adoptions. Again, we'll be starting with those items that are included in both bodies that don't have fiscal notes. Will be the order of priority. All right. Thank you. Any other questions, comments, 
Senator Weger. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair, Madam Chair. Uh, Representative Pinto and I have been discussing the uh, kindergarten assessment potential provision in the Senate bill, but we've talked just overall about early childhood and various reports that are in play, and we've come up with some other options for language work with the department and, you know, and any of us can meet and talk about mm -hmm. different areas, but I think we're coming up with some good language that I'm sharing with some others and you know, just a heads up and appreciate uh, Representative Pinto's uh, active leadership on that. Well, thank you. Thank you both for the initiative and the collaboration. Much appreciated. With that, we are uh, adjourned till 2 p.m. tomorrow, 2 did you say? 2, 2, 2 p.m. tomorrow. Good night.